In a prior video, I spoke about Toto Riina introducing Matteo Messina De Nero to Rosario Naimo. This is a story that took place after the capture and arrest of Toto Riina in January of 1993. When news of the capture spread, Naimo said De Nero sent for him. At the time, De Nero was also a fugitive. The two men met, and De Nero gave him a hug and regards from Leo Luca Bagarella, who was also a fugitive. They spoke about the recent capture, and De Nero told Naimo they had taken away a father. He'd been mentored by Toto Riina since a very young age. De Nero then asked Naimo for a favor. He wanted him to contact the American Secret Service for approval for their political plan. Supposedly, a rumor took shape because Naimo's American lawyer was said to have formerly been a member of the Secret Service, and that rumor obviously spread to Sicily. What made the rumor more believable was the United States at one time attempted to deport Naimo, which never happened because the paperwork disappeared. That same paperwork turned up years later in Philadelphia on a train. De Nero explained, the Colonesi had something big on their hands. They were helping to organize a political party for the national elections, which was taking place the following year. And they were supporting Silvio Berlusconi's Forza Italia. De Nero also wanted Naimo to go ask the American Cosa Nostra to help finance this plan. He told Naimo, we have connections, but we need a little help from the Americans. According to Naimo, while De Nero explained the Mafia's intentions, he listened in amazement and tried to reason with them. He told De Nero the time for this was over, stating that the Berlin Wall had fallen and how Reagan and Gorbachev kissed and made up. He was basically trying to show De Nero how the times changed. But his words were lost on a hard-headed De Nero, so he told him that he'll take care of it. De Nero ended the meeting with, Soruzzo, let me know, using his nickname. Naimo said that De Nero wanted the blessings of the Americans, but he knew he wasn't getting involved. At the time, De Nero, like Bagarella and Provenzano, were living like hunted animals. What's interesting is how De Nero sincerely believed that the United States would consider backing the Sicilian Mafia in a political coup. De Nero assumed that Naimo was headed back to the United States, not realizing Naimo couldn't return. The FBI wanted to arrest him for his role in organizing the delivery of Colombian cocaine to Sicily via the merchant ship Big John. But Naimo instead had other plans. He was walking away from Cosa Nostra entirely, and this had to do with the 1992 bombings of Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino at the hands of the Colonesi. He wanted out, and he confided in a close friend, Palamo boss Giovanni Battista Ferrante. He told Ferrante that De Nero and his people were crazy, and he felt De Nero's proposal seemed to come from people who were desperate. Ferrante, who would later cooperate himself, helped Naimo flee Sicily, where he headed to Corsica and then on to Spain. I'll be getting a lot more into Rosario Naimo, but I'll end this with his arrest. On October 27, 2010, Rosario Naimo was suffering from an eye hemorrhage and fell in a Palamo street. Two members of law enforcement happened to witness him fall and went over to help him. And when they asked for his identification, Naimo wouldn't produce it, but he eventually told them his real name. He was subsequently arrested and began to cooperate. <laughs>